And here's the outdoor wooden table, bar, or whatever you cook on, stuff. And you have these clips. Hey, take out. Side on the passenger side, you get the snow chains here that come out. Push the button, you get the, your waste water right here. Control valve, the valve to release it. Now outside the bus. Passenger side. You got the solar panels, the propane vent, and the AC up on top. And you got this table right here. The back door you can use as a exit if you want. Here's the back of the bus. You got the backup camera up there. Then I have some storage in the back right here, which I'll show you later. Here's the other side of the bus. All right, you ready to go inside the bus? Let's see. Here's the couch. That doubles as a storage. The sink, some butcher block counter, two burner stove, a thermostat, and here's the fridge, nomadic fridge, could be gas or electric. There's where the heater is underneath there. You got some space, a TV, and the exit door. And here the front is the where you drive. This part of the ceiling isn't finished. So here's the storage underneath the couch. That's how you lift it up. And you got all this storage room in here. All right, let's explore the kitchen. Here's some storage space underneath here with the heater hose going through it. Then you got the lazy Susan in the corner. You got storage space underneath the sink. With the faucet. your block countertops, a two burner stove, some windows to look outside. Under the bed is where the water storage is. Then we also have the Predator 3500 generator to help power and the footstool to get up on the bed because it's a little high. Alright, in the back here is where we have like a little garage, so you just come, open it up, and here's the other side of the great kennel, and you got all this little storage space underneath the bed for either another kennel, which I use when I had two dogs, and you got an outlet. Right there. And here's some wires. I think for the backup camera. 